I am a product of the liberal arts uh, education, starting at web school and then later in college. And I can think of no uh, academic program that prepares one more for the challenges of this century. Uh, if anything, uh, we need to have people who are quick on their feet and have a broad and, and sense of what is all, all that is out there. And the eclectic nature of the liberal arts makes people ready uh, for the changes that they're going to face and uh, give them a skill of anticipation, which I believe is one of the key skills for the uh, 21st century. Education uh, molds the entire person and a school develops a student's intellectual ability, aesthetic sense, uh, athletic skills, but more than anything else, a student's moral and ethical development. My athletic uh, director and coach at the Webb School, uh, where I went to school, always said that the academic dog wags the athletic tail. So the key to balance is to put uh, academics at the top, but also find space for the outlet of the arts and athletics. My experience as a teacher is at the heart of what I do. Developing a technique in the classroom, working on lessons, seeing results out of students was something that was quite satisfying to me in the classroom. But it's played out heavily into my role as an administrator and in leading teachers and uh, overseeing an academic program where the students are at the center. Uh, without that experience in the classroom, uh, it's hard to imagine how I could do my job. It's really at the core of my being. I've learned a lot from my students in the classroom and in athletics because I've been a coach for many years as well. I think what stands out to me, especially at independent schools, is how the student who perhaps on paper is average can do above average things. And I've seen that academically but also athletically, and there's nothing more satisfying than to see the smallest boy on the football team make a big play. Uh, it's just as satisfying as seeing that average student become an above average student at the end of the year. When parents know what's going on with their sons, when teachers and parents are in communication, good things happen. And it's important to be plugged in to be aware, to be supportive of your son. Uh, but at the same time, with each year, you need to pull back just a little bit because remember that a big part of the process going on here is preparing your son for adulthood. So with each year, let go a little bit, stay involved, stay interested, but be ready for that moment when uh, the diploma is handed off and it's time to, uh, to go off to college. That'll be tough, but that's part of it. My contact with parents, alumni, students, and faculty has been overwhelmingly positive and affirming. It's quite obvious to me that this school is not only respected and held in high regard, but it is seen as, as something very important in people's lives. It's a special place.